Hey, this is Mike from the One Stop Co-op Shop, and today I'm here to talk to you about a game currently on Kickstarter. We're looking at Bullet from Level 99 Games. No disclaimer needed for this one. I actually just heard about it on the Slack and checked it out and played it on Tabletop Simulator, and I fell in love, so felt like I needed to cover it and tell you about it. The basic idea of Bullet is you each pick one of eight anime fighters, and in gameplay that kind of combines a shoot 'em up and a puzzle fighter, you try to deal with the bullets that are on your board and send them over to somebody else's board. It can be played competitively with two to four players, but of course we're looking at the one to four player solo and co-op mode where you fight against one of eight bosses. So let's get right into it and say what there is to like and what you might want to be cautious about. So let's start right off the bat with something I think level 99 might be one of the best in the business at, and that's having varied characters that also vary in complexity. Each of the eight characters has a unique set of pattern cards they can use to get rid of bullets on their board and shoot them at others. They also have unique bullet manipulation options, but most importantly, they each have a unique special power, and this can make them feel drastically different from fighter to fighter. But the thing that's done beautifully here and I really enjoy is that some of the fighters are pretty straightforward, and some of them have drastic, crazy abilities, like doing math with your tokens or pushing them off your board in different directions. So the game really encourages you to learn the fighters, pick your favorites, try them all out, and if you're playing with a new player, you can give them the basic one, give yourself the most challenging one, and still feel like you're on a similar level. And the eight bosses you can fight are just as diverse. They also have their own unique deck of cards, but more importantly, they have unique uh, shield effects, unique health levels, they do different things to you every turn. It's just really a cool mix if you try different heroes against different bosses. It feels like a new game each time. But let's get to the actual gameplay. Man, I love it. Bullet is that special kind of game that you can play in 15 or 20 minutes, but that still feels complex and challenging and deep and makes you feel like you're skillful when you do well and like you've really played an epic experience. I love the spatial challenge of dealing with your bullets because you don't just have to look at the bullets on the board and whether they're going to hit you. You have to look at the boss and how they're attacking you. You have to look at your own pattern cards and try to make those come together so you can get off big hits. And if you're playing co-op, you have the ability to spend your limited resources to help your partners and mess with their boards so the puzzle becomes even more complex if you want it to. But the puzzle isn't dull or slow. The gameplay has a great kineticism and energy to it. Every bullet you pull out of your bag could be the one that kills you. Trying to figure out how to use your small pool of action points to barely survive the enemy attack for one more round. It's way more dynamic than a game with such a complex puzzle might first seem. Now, all those great things being said, there are some elements of the game that might make you want to steer clear based on the kind of gamer you are. First, I do want to make clear that I've only played the game on Tabletop Simulator, so I've never actually dealt with pulling tokens out of the bag or doing anything physical with it with other players, so I'm just going off of the experience I have, and I can't testify to the actual physical game. Second, because the heroes and bosses go from very straightforward to quite complex, players who are looking for a more streamlined system might feel like like they can only really play three or four of the eight heroes and feel comfortable. Third, in a similar vein, the bosses are incredibly tough. I almost never beat them. And you can go from zero damage to being fully defeated if you make one major mistake. So if you're someone who likes kind of a more gentle entry into a game, but you're only going to play solo and co-op where you have to fight these bosses, <laughs> they might unnerve you a bit. Finally, a small note on co-op. While you do have great options to interact with each other and trade bullets and that kind of thing, the game can feel so overwhelming just with your own puzzle that some players will stay totally focused and the game might feel like a solitaire in the end. So this again is a point where I think greater familiarity and skill with the game will make it pay better dividends in play. Overall, Bullet has been such a pleasant surprise for me. I went from knowing nothing about it to totally loving it. Now, I will admit in a way this game is perfect for me because I love frenetic chaos married with tense puzzles and tough choices. And I adore games that have really varied characters and encourage you to explore them deeply. So if you're like me and you aren't scared off by the really challenging bosses or the sometimes complex characters, I think Bullet will be a total winner for you. Good gaming and I'll see you at the next stop.